In this video, I will teach you how to do a jami. This video was requested by one of our viewers, so if there's a trick that you want to learn in jump rope, let us know and we'll see if we can teach you how to do it. Now the jami, when we're finished, is going to look like this. So that's all there is to it. But I want to walk you through step by step, how do we get there? So the first part of this trick is it's a triple under. Uh, now in jump rope, we often say triple unders for tricks that we have a side swing in. It's more of a double under and a half because we don't actually do a full triple under, uh, but we do call it a triple under trick. So we're gonna start off by doing a side swing. So the first part of this, um, you're gonna pick a side, whether right, left, doesn't actually matter. You're gonna do the side swing. Whichever side you do your side swing on, you're gonna go into a Kruger. So if I do a side swing to this side, my Kruger is gonna be under the same leg. So if I were over here, I'd be under this leg. So we'll start off with a side swing into a Kruger. Right here, as the rope's coming over, you're gonna wanna go into a crisscross. So whatever hand is under the leg is gonna come in on the bottom and the hand on the opposite side is gonna come over on the top for the crisscross. So if we actually step through it a little bit quicker, it's gonna go side swing, Kruger, crisscross. So the things you wanna watch out for when you're doing this is when you go into the Kruger, if you just wait a little too long, the rope's gonna end up wrapping onto your leg, which is gonna cause you to miss. If you go a little bit too early, you're gonna end up catching on the leg as well. So the timing is very important um, when you come out of the Kruger into the crisscross, especially when you're doing it in the air. So you're gonna go side swing, Kruger, into the crisscross. And you wanna step through that multiple times until you feel really comfortable. Now, another thing that's important with doing a lot of these skills, especially in a triple under, is that when you land, you wanna land on both feet. Some people get in this habit of kind of landing a little off kilter, or they'll go in here and they'll try to land on one foot. And it works on the ground, but when you do it in the air, it's not really that great for your body, your knees, your ankles and all that. So you wanna try to get to the point where you're comfortable when you're coming into the trick, where you end up landing on both feet at the same time. So you just wanna step through that a couple times, get really comfortable. If you wanna try the other side and land, and you just wanna be doing that really comfortable on the ground. Once you're ready to do it in the air, the best thing to do is kind of break it up into smaller parts. Get used to doing kind of that side swing jump. Once you've got that side swing, you can kind of land on that leg. Just get used to going into the Kruger position there and then land with a cross. And you can do that a few times, one, two, and then you kind of step through that a few times, then you want to try it in the air. This is the part where you want to make sure you can get the rope going fast enough. So the first few times you do it, you may want to just make sure you can do a side swing into a double under, because if you can't get that down, you're not going to have enough speed to get the rope around for the jami. So once you get that down, side swing double under, then you can try side swing jump, land into a cross, and then you can do it all in the air. And sometimes if you want to help your body just a little bit, you could add a little bit of a twist right at the end with your body that can actually kind of help pull the rope in uh, to get around you if you're not jumping quite high enough. But eventually you want to square off so where you start and you finish is facing exactly the same direction. And you just want to work on doing that one to you feel comfortable. Now, a lot of times when you're learning new tricks, you may end up be kind of slow on the landing. That's okay. You're going to end up landing in a squat. And that's very common for learning multiple under tricks. So if you have to, you can end up landing down like that. But if you don't quite get the cross in early enough, you'll notice that it'll end up catching on your leg like that, which is what we're going for. So if you do that, you still got to kick into the cross really quickly. So once that rope's in front of you, your cross is really fast coming out of that Kruger. Now, just in case you're curious about history, this trick was named for uh, John and Tommy, which is why it's called the Jami. It's a little FYI there. Um, some people like the history of jump rope tricks. Um, so one more time, here, side swing, Kruger, land in a cross. And then once again, try to land with your feet together. If you're kicking your foot out, 
depending on the direction. Just make sure you're trying to get it back to here. And then one other quick tip if you're having a hard time getting this trick is do it without the rope completely. Just practice jumping in and just get used to that feeling without the ropes. That way you're jumping up nice and big, doing your cross and your landing. Get really comfortable with that before you add the rope in. So that's always a good thing to do uh, if you're having a hard time getting a trick in the air. So that is how you do a jump.